looking at these reports is causing me some serious alarm. We can't seem to keep employees that would assist with the call waiting average and return to our turnover rate that was low when I first took over this department. I should talk to Jane. Jane, this is the second group of new hires that have come out of training without the necessary product knowledge that they should have. Mr. Smith, why do you say that? Well, I had Dallin and Jessica, which are both new hires, shadowing with Linda throughout the day. And Linda said that they had more than the usual questions about the products that they would be assisting the customers with on their calls once they felt comfortable enough to work on their own. That's odd. From the last group of new hires, we have had several resign from the company and in their exit interview, they stated that the quality of training they received did not align with the job requirements. Well, Mr. S um, I have spoken with Ms. Newberry and she assured me that the training she provided me was adequate. I believe that she did cover the techn technological aspects of the job, but not the product knowledge or the flow of the call. Mr. Smith, I'm very sorry to hear that and concerned. Our recruitment team are getting qualified candidates that look good not only on paper, but come with high recommendations and the job skills required. I think maybe it's time for an evaluation of Ms. Newberry's training materials and her delivery method. Jane, I am not trying to start trouble, but this is affecting our call handling and wait times for our customers. I would hate for us to lose customers over the quality of our customer care team or to even reflect badly on my part as the manager for this department. Not to worry, Mr. Smith. I will have a talk with Miss Newberry to follow up, and I will notify you within the week of the changes and how they will be implemented for the training of our new hires 